don't think that's the case. Okay, so that's revolver ammo. Already searched out the bodies. Just making sure there's not like your random item just like sitting around on somebody's desk. Who is it? You gonna stay out there, asshole? Well, quit talking shit, motherfucker. Come on. Take that money. Uh, I think this is actually the way you're supposed to go. I think, anyways. Um, no, that's the way you're supposed to go. Okay. So fucking hey, let's go back into the uh, the storage room over here. Have a little peek what's inside. There's bound to be something useful. There we go. A little extra experience. We're slowly moving out these boxes. I just want to see where we're located at. Oh, I see. Right. Some stun gun darts. An actual frag grenade. Um. Right. The question that I have is, is it really worth my time to actually pick this thing up? Because I think if I'm not mistaken, there may be some occasions where you need to use explosives. <sighs> I don't remember. I'm going to leave it be. Because as you can see in my, like, in the lower right hand corner there, I've got actually the remote explosives as set as my, uh, my grenades. And I really don't want that. I want to set these guys. There we are. So that way, if I accidentally hit my grenade button, we're actually throwing flash flashbangs instead of uh, basically like claymores. There we are. One of our... Oh, it's a Praxis. Okay. So what I would like to get... Let's see, your hacking social enhancer. So we, we're going to need two Praxis to get this, but we're going to definitely want it. I think it was called the Cassie mod. Okay, so what, what we want to do here is probably hard save our game. We have a camera over here. Okay. Let's see a vent. So it's entirely possible to sit there and evade this uh that camera with a box. Not gonna worry about that though. Because we're going to get some extra experience points. And if you're looking at the mini map at the bottom left hand corner, that little like uh, circular thing, that thing is actually a turret. Very deadly. Although, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. See, if we had the, uh, the upgrade, we could actually pick this thing up and throw it, which would basically deactivate the thing. There's nothing over here. We're just gonna get a nice handy dandy cutscene.
step away from the console. Now! Help me! Richard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch them. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub, in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Roger Dodger. Oh, he's got a packet of stuff. So we're definitely going to want to drop some shit here. Uh, I don't think I have really much of a choice. I think we're going to end up having to... So what I'm going to do... We're going to combine that with the shotgun. Okay. He has basically a whole packet of these, uh, the protein bars, and then this is our, gonna be our first, like, hacking program that we can use. I tend to not use them, only when there's absolutely a, a need for it. Um, I have to get rid of something else here. I really hate to do this. We're gonna drop the ammo. Because I'm gonna take the the trink darts and then as far as our augs we now have we should have actually had two now what the fuck oh wow i should actually have enough to actually have the uh the cassie mod there we go there's another program right here The last I remember of this this area was that basically the cops were supposed to come in. And you were able to actually talk with them and stuff. But I guess that happens after we talk to uh, Mr. Zeke Man. Next Praxis is 625 points. Man, what the fuck? Don't even tell me I, I have to... I'm gonna talk to Zeke and not actually have the, the the points to do it because my last playthroughs I always had enough or am I just like despairing a little bit too much that could be I have a problem with that Somebody's getting fucked up. So there's the machine pistol. I don't really care about that. We don't need it. We're not going to use it. some more opportunities for us to get some a little bit more experience. We got nothing? I know, man. I think I think it really messed up this time. Motherfucker, how are we going to get out of this mess? Yes, I could use a con concussion grenade. But I'm choosing not to. Simply so I can ma min max my experience points. Of course. Take out this other bloke. Ah, oh, shit, he's already going down the stairs. Bummer, dude. But this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been attacked. 
the first time, six months ago, on the eve of controversial hearings set to scrutinize the company's research. With those hearings permanently on hold, many are now wondering... Yeah, yeah, we got some beer over here. Yep, we're gonna have to drop some more shit. That is one of the stipulations of our playthrough. We have to have alcohol. Looks like we got a pocket secretary. All right. Yeah, here's what I was talking about earlier. As far as the uh, the office area where you can hack into all of the um, computers. But sources tell me that a militant group. Oh, that was a total letdown. I thought we were able to actually get into some of those drawers, but apparently not. Okay, so we got some revolver ammo. And this will just take us downstairs. Get a little bit more experience. Ah, take us right into the washroom. So all I really need is a box or something to throw. Yeah, there we are. Or a garbage can. Perfect. So this motherfucker's gonna come up in here. Yep, there he is. And as soon as he Nothing. turns around. I would have found him if someone was here. Alright, let's drag him in the bathroom. Actually, we could stand up and do this so we can move a little bit of faster. So I'm going to be cautious about this. We're actually going to put him way over here. And then I think we should probably hard save our game. It's been a while since we've done that. Ever since my Crusader Kings... Yeah, ever since my uh, Crusader Kings 2 campaign as the uh, Canary Isles, ever since that save file became corrupted. Been about about it. The saving frequently. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to try to lure our guard over in this adjacent bathroom. Let's move out of the way so he doesn't see us. Almost spotted us right there. I didn't see nothing. Nice, slow and steady. Okay, he's got a pocket secretary here. And it looks like it's just gonna be the login information for the, uh, the computers over here, which is fine. So we're we gonna get another guy? Oh yeah. Oh yes. I'm hoping Noah's right in the bathroom. Some more login information. We got one more gar over here, it looks like. I think it's just the one. So we're going to be a hunter-seeker here. Yeah. Sit down, motherfucker. Nice. I think that's everybody. 
Now I get to diddly bop my way through the offices. Get some trank darts. Some more trank darts. I don't believe there's anything else in here. Oh, got some ammo over here. So you do actually want to want to interact with stuff, and you do want to pay attention because sometimes, like on the bookshelves and whatnot, you can find like hidden credits and hidden uh, pocket secretaries, like say these credits. I think we should probably hard save our game. Oh, we got some beer. Yeah. Speaking of beer. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Sierra Nevada's 2018 Oktoberfest. Don't remember if I actually mentioned this or not. Hella good beer. I think they did a really good job. They partnered up with uh, Bavaria's finest, Vian Stefaner Brewery. They make some really good Hefeweizen. Although I always have the worst luck in the world because uh, every time I buy their 12 ounce bottles, the six pack of them, they always come skunked. But you buy the pint bottles and they're always fresh. Go figure. So even if we do have the, the what you call them, the uh, the login information, we're still going to hack them for the additional experience. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about right there. There's a data cube right there. So we're going to definitely want to hack that. There we are. Granted. So we got 125 extra credits just for doing that little extra uh, data cube there. Okay. You're going to see quite a bit of redundancy when it comes to a lot of the email messages. And if you actually pay attention to the environment themselves, a lot of people, are, or there's some people here that actually have their, their login information like on a little post-it note sitting right next to their computer. So you're going to pay attention to stuff like that. All right, what do we got here? We got both of these. Twenty-two seconds should be fine. There we are. Access granted. Nice. Yeah, especially the message from uh, Pritchard. We've got a data cube here. <sighs> the only way we're going to be able to get a da the data cube is if we do this one. So I, what I would recommend is doing this one first. It's going to go faster. Ah, shit. We got spotted. we got enough time here, by the way. There we are. Access granted. Nice. We, we got an additional program. So basically what you get for these data cubes are usually either one of the two uh, hacking programs or you get money. Like I said, I'm not going to be uh, reading this to you guys. You guys can read it for yourselves. That's why I'm kind of scrolling through them very slowly. So for instance, we know the hi we know the uh, the password. It's Hydro. But we're going to hack at anybody. Uh, the spam. The spam is also uh, something that you can do. You can capture the enemy um, data node. Uh, but the spam, basically what that does is it slows them down. It slows the computer down. So uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go for the zero spam. There you go. Uh, so we'll get the this one first. We'll probably get discovered. That's fine. But we're going to have all these other spams. For instance, we're going to actually be able to capture it. Access granted. Although, to be quite honest, it probably would have made more sense for us to actually go for the level 4 end node anyways, because we would have uh, picked up a lot more experience by doing it. But whatever. It's fine. 
So, Surat, Surat and Greg, Greg Thorpe. That's what I was talking about earlier when we were, when I said uh, we we're going to be talking to Greg Thorpe later on. Surat is an actual arms dealer. Be able to run into him as soon as we're done with this uh, this area. Get your empty. Just trying to maximize my experience. Okay, um, sure. Access granted. Easy peasy. Now it gets a little repetitive hacking through all these things, but it's totally worth it. Okay, so we got a data cube up here. So I think we should probably go for this one first and then go over here. Yeah, shit. It's going to take us forever to do this because our hacking software sucks. It's so slow. It's all right, though. Ain't no thing. Access granted. And by the way, if you have multiple routes already uh, hacked, and you're trying to like, for instance, if we since we had this uh, this route and this uh, this node and this node over here hacked, it's gonna make this go even faster. It's I think it's actually double the rate if I'm not mistaken. So that's one of the benefits of actually hacking uh, various nodes. Bronco fan. The Broncos. Get the hell out of here. Just about to get in another level, by the way. Access granted. Okay, there's nothing sexy about that one. Got. I'm pretty sure we already did the ones that were over here. So it's just these three last computers. Okay, so the way the transfer works is that once you actually do this, it'll add, it'll subtract one from an adjacent node, but then add it to a different adjacent node. And since it's a level zero, we're not going to be detected. So obviously we're going to want to take this one because we're not going to be able to get captured. The soften nodes, um, I think those will actually soften uh, this this thing up here, if I'm not mistaken. There we are. So zero percent chance of being detected. Oh, shit. Yo, yeah. come on, get it. Access nice. granted. Outstanding. I believe is this might be the last one. Okay, so we have two different notes here. We're going to do the number three first, right? Because it's going to take it a while for that one to actually finish. And now we're going to go for it. The soften. There we go. Access granted. That's how you do it. Every time I see this name, Athene, Athena Margulies, I'm thinking Julianne Margulies. Just like, hmm. Didn't realize she was playing a role in this game. Guess it's kind of like a Freudian slip. Okay, so the only way we're going to actually be able to go is this way. Whenever you have two of these end nodes here, you're going to have to capture them both. Yeah. 
Oh, there we go. Access granted. Nice. So utterly close. 25 points away from getting a level. Can you believe that? There was nothing else over here, right? Mm, I don't believe so. So, since we spent so much time doing this, we should probably hard save. Okay. Come on, just 25 more experience points, please. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No! Oh, there we are. <laughs> we got the 200 experience points for uh, picking up the... Uh, the scholar, or for the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, medical journal here. Oh, okay. Thankfully, let's buy it. Oh, yeah. So it's automatically maxed out. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that was the only thing that was actually of value in this area. Alright, so let's hard save our game before we actually get in here. Because we're going to have a nice little chat. I'm going to try to placate this man. Don't lie to me! I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same! You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Cholo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Back off, Hector! I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, me and la vieja, we're leaving. Okay, Cholo. So, we're gonna, um... We're gonna try to set Josie free here. You know I can't let you go with her. You gotta pay attention to the persuasion stand level. Down, Hanser. I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead. Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet, and I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only ticket out. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? So, uh, I think we need to empathize with them. Yeah, I think we're gonna empathize. I think that's the way we do this. You're doing better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there, but still. I know you're kind. I saw it a million times in the Gulf. The only thing augmented goons like you care about is gaining the advantage. Just like the cops out there. I'd have to be stupid to do anything you tell me to. So we're gonna empathize again, of course. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Notice Same the persuasion you. level increasing. You risk your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. I know that. The question is, do they? You know what? 
We're done talking. The puta who tricked my brother thought he had his beat. But we are so much tougher than he counted on. I'm gonna go find him and anybody else who helped him. And when I do, they're gonna see the Angel of Vengeance in action, baby. So we need to use the uh, the actual casting mod here. I should have the actual the op option here just in a moment to use it. We're, we're gonna empathize once again. You've got more honor than the man who betrayed you. You're not gonna let your brother down like this. The hacker was expecting civilians to be in the building tonight. You were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently. But you're smarter than he is. Oh, it's so obvious. Can't believe I didn't see it till now. He thinks he can just lead me to my death? Think again, cabron. Get out of here. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. It's the... I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. I'll look over there. Adam. Still skull. Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam. Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. That's right, bitches. We just got a shit ton of uh, experience points here. Didn't get to use my Cassie Aug, but uh, we will. Oh, yes, we will. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but what about the other hostages? My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs, and I overheard talk about a bomb. Don't worry. They're safe. Oh, thank God. When those men surprised us. Mr. Jensen, they should not have been able to get in. With the typhoon being moved in and all, I double-checked the protocols myself. Yeah, I expect Pritchard's doing the same thing right now. Stay here. DPD will want to question you. But you and your husband should be reunited soon. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You're a hero. So I should probably stop consuming these beers. These beers particularly. This uh, kind of like Southeast Asian sounding beer. The Maharaya. Or maybe like Jamaican perhaps. Because we're going to need three of them. We're going to meet somebody who's equally an alcoholic. Who only likes this type of beer. So we're going to have to stop drinking them. Otherwise I would say man we need to have a cheers right now. Because we just won. But first, we need to hack another computer. <laughs> fairly easy, fairly straightforward. Access granted. It's a joke. So we are on Josie Thorpe's computer, by the way. Of course, we got the uh, the Somalian uh, scam right here, or excuse me, Nigerian, not Somalian. That's right, I forgot it was Nigerian. I remember when those things were huge. What you gotta tell me, pig? Jensen, you're the guy who was sent in before us. Those hostages owe you a lot. Nice going. You goddamn right. Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. Now the bastard's free to spread his lies and cause more trouble. Well, we'll see about that. Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. I can't believe they made us wait now out the here the leader of these assholes got away. Nice job securing the plant. And that's the, the end of it. The target is on lockdown. I can't let anyone in. But my wife, she's still in there. I need to know that she's okay. You'll have to wait until the building is secure. Now back up and let the SWAT team do their job, please. My wife, is she all right? She's fine. A little shaken up, though. SWAT will need to debrief her. But you'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I think I've given up on her. You're a true hero, man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. Oh, There's you no will. There's no need for that. 
I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. <laughs> Seriously. I can't thank you. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's nothing else over here. Yeah. Pretty much just one big dead end. So we're going to go back to uh, Surf Industries here. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan, what are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired, she said the papers were lying about Mexican Town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. And there we have it. Milwaukee Junction, ladies and gentlemen. Finally complete. We damn near have our, our third Praxis point. Just about. I think when we get back, we're going to actually hard save our game. We're probably going to get a little pop-up message. We're going to listen to that, and then we'll hard save. We'll call it from there. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? Uh... I think we're gonna go with the intrigued option. You know, normally I'm a pretty callous individual, but... I just don't think it's appropriate in this situation. You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. Talk about the motive. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. 
First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. So the whole pr first part of that conversation is really important. We'll find out a lot more about that later on. I'm not going to spoil it if you have not played this game or don't know anything about it. But I'm just saying that pay attention to that. Keep that in your little memory banks because that is going to come up rather subtly later on in the game. But this is where we cut off the episode because I think we're uh, well past the normal time that I actually record videos. So let's actually do what I'm saying and actually hard save our game. And I will see you guys for the next one where we uh, go and debrief and explore the rest of Seraph Industries, various offices and computers, have some convo, and pilfer some offices. I'll see you guys then. Take care and have a good one.